Hey everyone, it's Liv. Welcome back to another vlog. It's been a while. As you may remember, we had some complications with my grandpa's horse Gwen and her full primrose, and we had to get Prim a foster mare. So right now I'm on my way into the stable she stayed in ever since. I'm really excited to show her to you. She's grown so- Aww. Hey Prim! I have to put the lock on the door because she's a little escape artist, but here she is, Primrose. She has definitely grown since you last saw her. She ended up shedding out way darker than expected, but apparently it's quite normal and she will become lighter again once she grows older. Currently she is about one and a half and I'll put up a comparison from when she was only a few days old compared to now. So far, I've just been working on basic ground matters with her, and I'll be doing some more of that today, plus going down to the arena to do something we've only done once before, so I'm a bit nervous about it, but we'll see how it goes. She gets a bit stressed when tied up to both cross ties, so I only do one and give her some hay to distract her. I groom her really just to get her used to it, and she's been doing pretty good with it, though she hasn't been the biggest fan of having her hooves picked, so we'll see how that goes. She was very good, she let me pick up all of her hooves, and as long as I give her hay she stands pretty still so that's good, but now we'll head down to the arena. So because Prim is technically my grandpa's horse, and because it's kind of expensive to board at a proper stable, we plan on moving her back to my grandpa's place as soon as possible. So that's why I'll be getting her used to being around and inside the trailer. This is our second session, and so far I've only been using positive reinforcement, so I just let her loose in the arena and encourage her to come close to the trailer by using food and treats. Prim has proven to be quite the sensitive gal, so I wanted to be careful to not build up any negative associations with the trailer by using force. So by giving her the choice of approaching the trailer or not, and rewarding her lots when she does, it becomes a lot more positive for her, and also safer for me, as she's not jumping around as I'm trying to convince her to go into the very scary and dangerous trailer box. She did eventually take my bait and put all of her hooves onto the ramp, and eventually her two front hooves in the trailer. She stood there for about a minute as I gave her lots of carrots, and I did try to nudge her to come further in, but she backed off, so I decided to end the session on a good note. Alright, now she's out in the pasture with her buddies again, and I just need to muck out her stall real quick before I'm off, but I do think I'll be vlogging some more pretty soon, so I'll see you then. Hey guys, welcome back. It's an early morning in December, and I just got a message from my grandpa telling me his water pipes have frozen. He doesn't live very fancy, so that can happen, but I'm heading over there with some water tanks for him right now. Ooh, 
Now that the sun went past the hill, it's so much colder. Hey, check it out. A perfectly formed snowflake. I don't see that too often. Alright, well, the water tanks are delivered, so he should be okay for the next couple of days. Nope, no water from here either. Let's have a look at the temperature out here. Ooh, it's minus 13 degrees Celsius, which I think is around 8 degrees Fahrenheit. The horses need extra energy to keep warm, so I'll be giving them some extra hay. Oh my goodness, the snow is pretty deep here. I probably should have done some shoveling. Hey Gwen. All right, that should be enough hay for now. And we also have heaters for their water, so that should be good. And I'm actually going to take Gwen out today. A few months back, I started to do some work with Gwen to figure out where she is in regards to being ridden I don't know any of her history as she is a rescue, so I just started from the basics and it quickly became pretty obvious that she is used to being ridden. It does make me a bit sad to think that this perfectly good riding horse would have ended up going to slaughter if we didn't rescue her, but anyways, I'm glad we have her and I thought I would take her on a little trail ride today. I'll be using this trail saddle today. My grandpa used to use it in his younger days, so it is quite old, but it's also super comfortable and it fits Gwen really well. The bridle I'll be using is actually almost brand new, as I've been trying different headstalls with bits on Gwen, but she really seemed to go best with just a halter and she still responds very well to my cues, so I bought this one to match the saddle. Oh, and let me not forget. I brought the helmet cam, this one is new, so I hope to get some nice shots with it while I'm riding along with the regular camera shots. Alright, GoPro is on. I guess we're ready then. <laughs> Gwen, we're not leaving Pigeon forever, okay? You'll be fine. Come on now. I took a path that leads a little bit higher up in the hill, which means the sun is still up here and it's even warming a tiny little bit. And the snow is so pretty and sparkly. Uh, it's almost magical. I love it. I know it's an unpopular opinion to love winter as an equestrian, and I certainly do not like all the shoveling and water freezing and all that, but there's just something about when the landscape totally transforms. It's so pretty to me, I just can't help but love it.
Oh, that branch looks like it's going to... S whoa! Whoa, Gwen! Oh my goodness, she just threw me off. There was this massive branch that just snapped and she got really spooked by it. Gwen! Ugh, I don't like this. I don't see her anymore. She ran in this direction, but... Ugh, why didn't she run towards the stable? I have no idea where she'll end up now. At the very least, there is snow on the ground, so I should be able to follow her tracks. Ah, and she threw a shoe as well. Ugh. Been walking for 10 minutes now, I think, and still haven't seen or heard anything. Ugh, I'm still following her tracks, but... Is that... Oh, it looks like there's blood by her tracks. Ugh. Oh, she's over there. Oh my goodness. Gwen! What did you do, you little butthead? Are you hurt? So, it turns out, the blood I saw in the snow wasn't actually blood, but they were rose hips that I guess Gwen tried to grab as a snack on the way. Gosh, I was so worried. <laughs> I'm leading you home, Gwen. No more funny stuff today. So I've walked the majority of the way now, but I realize I should probably, you know, get back in the saddle. Yeah, this feels good. It would have been stupid of me not to, and I probably would have built up lots of anxiety for my next ride on Gwen. So, okay, wait, I need to take my helmet off first. So I'm guessing my grandpa was out here just before I arrived because he put out a little meal for me, which is still warm. This is a slice of vertebra, which is a sweet bread with spices like cloves and anise, as well as raisins and other good stuff. And it smells delightful, so I'm going to have a taste. Mm. It has some brunost on top, which is Norwegian sweet cheese, and it's very good. I also got some grug, or I guess it's called mulled wine in English, though this one is without the wine. Mm. It tastes sweet and spicy, and there are also some chopped up nuts and raisins in here, which I quite enjoy. Well, I guess this has been my first and probably last mukbang. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my food and I'll see you in a bit. All right, I thoroughly enjoyed my goodies and I also put Gwen back in the pasture together with Pigeon. Now, I feel like I want to return the favor to my sweet grandpa and there's one thing I know he will definitely appreciate. So I'm going to head over to him now and deliver the goods. So thank you all for coming along. There were some ups and downs, but I hope you at least found it entertaining. Please do remember to leave a like on the video and subscribe. And also let me know what you'd like to see more of in the future. Happy New Year everyone, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!